Why do I look like I've been crying? Have I? Have I been crying? Not today. Tell me I don't look gorgeous. God, I'm going to cry. Hi, what's up? My friends have asked me to go to the pub and I need to film a video. So here we are doing a get ready with me and answering questions because this is not a beauty channel. You're not here to see how I do my makeup. You're here to basically listen to me rant talk crap because so that's apparently all I know how to do but yeah let's get into it yeah I am wearing a bathrobe by the way I'm not gonna change until I'm ready so also look at my case oh. caseify emails down there please please I need a new phone case and I'm too broke to buy one basically a pen leaked in my work trousers I say trousers jeans and yeah now my case ugly we're just gonna ignore that you know don't comment on it it will make me cry i went on to instagram and if you're not following my instagram that's it go give it a follow so yeah i asked people i was like give me some questions you know help a girl out let's get into it first of all i'm gonna get a silicone free priming moisturizer oh 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 i don't know if that focused what is it? I don't even know what brand this is. Good Molecules. They're like an Instagram brand, I'm pretty sure. But we're just gonna moisturize the face. Also, my eyelashes are on their last leg, but I'm waiting to just before Halloween to do a full glow up, which I probably will film. Spooky season glow up. Oh, right, let's go for a question. So, first question Have you got a man? I feel like that's such a road way to put it, but okay, sis, pop off. Um, no. I am a single gal, single Pringle. <laughs> I would like to say that I love being single. I do, I really do, I love being single. But then I see like the relationship TikToks and it makes me contemplate my entire existence. And I, I'm just a difficult person. I don't think anyone could handle me in a relationship. So I kind of feel bad if I got into a relationship with someone because they have to deal with my crap. Also using, I'm gonna put a lid on that before I show you that, that's ugly. Um, infallible by L'Oreal. Is that gonna focus? Don't focus on my face, focus on this. There you go. Yes, I know. I look like the chocolate baby right now. Don't need to comment on it. <laughs> Does it feel good? Ah. I just need to match my fake tan. <laughs> let's stop sounding like a car. Yeah, anyway, let's not talk about relationships because I'm gonna end up in a full breakdown. Let's <laughs> move on. What's the next one? Turn ons and offs. Get a bit spicy up in here, aren't we? Bloody hell. Oh, let me try to think. My brain is buffering. My single brain cell is really trying its hardest right now to comprehend what to say. I mean, I suppose this is a turn on, but it's kind of like, it's not something you do. It's just like a feature that has me a bit like, whew, is when a guy has biceps. And I don't mean like, like, like proper i mean just literally just a little bit of muscle just a little bit like if they like move their arms above their head it tenses a little bit and then i'm just like <sighs> did i just make that noise yeah it's, this is why i'm single but yeah like biceps really just do something for me they, they do they do <sighs> i don't get how people like like veiny arms like i get it it's hot how's that turn on but then again like biceps are my turn on and that's just a bit weird like it's a bit of muscle why am i getting all like Ooh, about it you know or like when they reverse in the car <laughs> when they reverse in the car and they put their arm like behind your chair like that and you can see the little whistle i love it i love it i love it i love that or like if a guy drives with one hand like that like and that the little gears it oh ah! i love it I bloody love it. Turn offs though. Let me try and think of some turn offs. Turn offs. What turns me off? Men. Joking. Don't come for me. I don't know what turns me off. I think just guys that are like full of themselves. Like that really just annoys me. Like a guy that like thinks he can just get with you. Like that sounds so stupid, but like people that are just too cocky. Like. A bit of cocky is nice, don't get me wrong. But to the point where they think like, I'm gonna worship the ground that they work, walk on. Like, my favorite button is the block button. Don't, don't test me. And I feel like once you have the ick, it's gone. It's gone. And it's like little things that give me an ick. Like, someone that's too clingy. 
can't deal with that. That makes me feel sick. I rather, this is the thing though, that like, my brain when it comes to like boys is really weird. Like it's like, like I rather me and the guy bully each other, but then like have a soft spot for each other. I love that, I love that shit. Rather than like a guy be all over me like simping, like that sounds so like inconsiderate to call it simping, but it is and it's like, I can't stand it. Like I rather, have like, not a love-hate relationship, but I think it's because I love like Dave and Salvatore and Elena together. I love that, I love it so much that like I want to inhibit that in my own life. So if it's like a boring situation where you can't like bully each other and like get over it within seconds, I don't want it. Um, what's next? Last time you cried. Saturday night, right now it is Thursday. I've gone quite long. Was that the last time I cried? But that's a world record. That is a world record. Not gonna go into it. <laughs> Cause I'll start crying again and then it won't be a world record. So moving on. Do, 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 do. Oh my God. Someone said Olivia Neal or Flossie. I love these two girls. They're literally like my personality. I'm not being funny. I don't have my own personality. My personality is a combination of Olivia Neal and Flossie meshed together. That's just my personality. I don't have my own. Whoops. Okay, next question. Ah! Someone's gone. I'm I keep on looking down. My phone's down here. Like, let me actually be considerate. Someone's gone, you're a TikTok queen. When are you actually going to post though? <laughs> so, um, story time. I had a moment yesterday where I was on TikTok and I looked at my account and I hated it. I physically hated it. It made me feel sick. So I deactivated it. <sighs> Who thought that was a good idea? Hey. Hey, yeah? I'm putting, by the way, I'm literally not telling you anything I've done. So, Invaluable Powder. And now the collection of Soft Blusher. Look how little I've got left in this though. Yeah, ghetto. Uh, so, I completely deactivated my account. Ten minutes later, uh, I made a new account. I didn't even reactivate the account because I was like, I know I'm still going to hate the videos that I've posted. So, I've just made a new account, which is Vicky Zek with an extra K. In a month's time, I will be changing it to Vicky Zek though because i can't change for like 30 days i think or something like that i don't know also once again ghetto you already know the broken chocolate bar two face palette uh triple fudge for my eyebrows with a little little brush i wish i was a tiktok queen you know thank you for the confidence i wish i was a tiktok queen to be honest i literally dyed my eyebrows the other day so my eyebrows are kind of really thick not really fitting them in that much to be fair okay someone's called first kiss story that's a, that's a bit of a weird one but okay pop off i was like really young i think it was so my family's lithuanian so all of their friends are like lithuanian and it was like lithuanian wedding how many times am i gonna say lithuanian for god's sake and there was like this really cute boy and i remember just Thing is, I don't remember much from when I was young, so I don't remember like how I remember like specific things like this. It's a bit weird. I remember there was like the service, and then after the service, I think it was like all the kids were like playing, and we were like the oldest ones there. And I can't remember how we, I think we were playing like hide and seek or something. And he kissed me, and I was like, oh. And I, I think that was my first ever like crush. Fun fact though, so when I was eight, obviously you kissed him, whatever. I think up until I was like 10 or something, obviously like our families were friends and then family drama. And then like I never saw him again. And obviously I live in England, he lives in Lithuania. So I was like, oh, my one true love. And then about a year ago, I found him on Instagram. And I was like, oh my God. Like, you know, like all the little films, you've always got the little like story and it's always like, kind of a bit like yeah that doesn't happen in real life i was like whoa i found his instagram i was about to text him then i realized although my family's lithuanian although he's from lithuania all that stuff i can barely speak it i can understand it i can't text it i can't i can eh, speak it and i was like well i can't even speak to the boy and then i did some light stalking and realized that he's got a girlfriend bit pissed off but yeah that was my first kiss story a bit vague because my memory is awful is anyone else like that though like you genuinely just can't remember stuff like i would like to know what happened in primary school like so many people would be like oh do you remember this from primary school and i'm like i do 
even remember attending primary school at this point. Like, I'm confused. I am confused. I'm trying to see my eyebrows in the viewfinder. Yeah, like, I just don't remember quite a lot of stuff. And I don't know whether I should be concerned or, like, if it's a normal thing. I don't know. Oh, I got my... What? I love the fact that I was like, oh, I need to blend it to my, um, fake tan. <laughs> Yeah, it's not blended to my fake tan at all. <laughs> the thing is, this person's not even gonna watch it. But if you're watching this, Luke, your sister just said me or Luke. And I'm gonna pick Lacey. Whoop. Can't wait to get angry texts later. <laughs> so it's good. How many guys got put in friend zone in 2020 for you? Not that many. Like, I mean, I could probably count it with one hand. Like, not many people fancy me. <laughs> I'm a weird specimen like so oh that's a bit that needs to be sharpened a bit so yeah not many people got friend zoned I'm trying to think if I got friend zoned I don't think I got friend zoned I got like fuck zoned if that makes sense like someone tried to make it out as if they wanted to be in a relationship with me and then all of a sudden I was like actually that no, I'm only in it for a fuck and I was like oh did you want to tell me any earlier on because now I've fallen for you and now I am not broken. Where is my sharpener? I can't find it. I feel like with every YouTube video I get more, just worse. I'm literally trying to peel the sides of it so I can actually use it rather than sharpening it. Because I don't know where my sharpener's gone. That should be fine. Right, next question. Ideal height for a guy. Um, well, I mean, I'm like 5'9", five 5'10". Five so, ideal height is like, I would say like 6 foot for me. Also, I'm using the NYX lip pencil. I think this is natural. I don't know whether... Yeah, in natural. That did not focus that. <laughs> like, beautiful height though. It's like 6'2". Or higher. Stop. Stop. You naughty naughty. You teasing me. You naughty naughty, you teasing me, you naughty naughty. <laughs> Fashion inspiration. Emma Chamberlain, next question. A fave cocktail. Oh honey, you're talking to a qualified alcoholic. Right, my favourite of all time will always be a woo-woo, I don't care. I'm trying to do my lips whilst also talking so much. Yeah, it will always be a woo-woo, always. But I do like to venture out to a sex with a major. <laughs> Basically the same thing. I like every cocktail except for like Blue Lagoon. I can't stand Blue Lagoon. Anything that tastes like licorice, I don't like that. I just like any cocktail. I like alcohol, love. I just like alcohol. I don't mind. Give me anything, I will drink it. As long as it's not spiked. Stay safe, ladies. Next question. Someone's got lingerie, yeah, your name. That's a bit saucy, isn't it? If I had a man, I'd say yeah, but I don't, so. I like the girls that are all, all like, oh yeah, like I wear it for myself. Like, yeah, pop off, you do that. Like, if that's what you wanna do, you do that. However, I don't have the money to spend on lingerie and literally just wear it, like just, just for myself. Like that sounds so, I don't know what that sounds like. Also, I'm now using, what is this? I would like to tell you, but it doesn't say the brand. Just some random nude lipstick on the center of my lips. I'm gonna say something, now I forgot. Oh, I haven't got a man. So it's a bit, bit pointless for me to like get lingerie if I'm just gonna be sitting watching Netflix with it on, because it's a bit like, lingerie is expensive. It's really expensive. If I had a guy, I wouldn't mind branching out, spending some dollar, treating my mans, all that kind of stuff. And if I'm gonna treat myself, I'm gonna treat myself to some pizza or something like that, or a cocktail. But then again, saying that, like, if I have a guy and he's unappreciative of the lingerie, I will go mad and I'll never, ever wear lingerie ever again. Because if I'm not trying to, you know, it, not like impress my mans, but just, I don't know what the word is, just like, you know, make it a bit more fun and you don't appreciate it, sis. Fuck off. I did have a guy like that and it's just, it's not, I like wearing lingerie. I love a guy's reaction to it. So if a guy doesn't react to it or just doesn't appreciate it, I'm a bit like, oh, fuck off then. Like, Jesus, don't, not a fan of you anymore. I generally should just do a video of me just ranting. Just ranting, get everything off my chest because like, can I talk for a bloody year? Oh my God, tell me I don't look like a bloody liar right now. Hi. <laughs> The best thing about this is I'm not gonna have to brush my hair. I'm not gonna have to brush my hair for like a good two, three days. I'm just gonna do my hair and I'll be back in a moment. Bye. 
Hi, I'm back. Hair is done, looking a bit like a lion. And I've actually got some clothes on. Oh, look at her actually being, um, you know, normal. But yeah, that's the makeup look. That's me trying to share all of that. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, like it, comment, subscribe, turn the bell notifications on, all of that jazz you already know. And yeah, see you later. Bye. Toodaloo. Um, to the next video. Woo. Bye.